this video, we are going to learn that how we can perform man in the middle attack using Itacad. So let's get started. Uh, before that, if you haven't checked out my previous video in which I have demonstrated that how we can perform DNS spoofing attack using Itergap, then please check that out and the link is given down in the description. So now let's get started. Now we have to open our terminal. And here we have to type sudo su. As you can see, I have already in the root. I don't need to do that but if you are not in the root user then you need to, you need to type something like this sudo su and you have to hit enter and after that you will become the root user as you can see now let me zoom it out a bit okay now good and now the first thing that we need to type is intercap minus g it stands for graphical now we have to hit enter and as you can see the data cap has started i'm just going to close this and click on this wait for a few seconds and we have everything loaded now the first thing that we need to do is we need to scan the host as you can see two hosts are added into the host list which means there are currently two users who are connected into our network so to check the host list we can just go over here and we need to click over the host list. And now, as you can see, there are two devices. We have the IP address and the MAC address of that particular device. Now we need to select all of these and I'm going to add it into target one. You can add it in target two as well. It totally depends on you. I'm going to add it to target one. And after that, I'm going to just click over here and here we have to select the R poison. Click here, click on OK. And now, Finally, we just need to hit the play button. Perfect. Now, the man in the middle attack is running behind the background in the particular network. Now, to uh, see it in a more practical way, we are going to assume that my Windows machine is a victim machine and this Kali Linux machine is the attacker's machine. So, I'm just going to head over to my browser and I'm just going to type some uh, website, let's say testphp.vulnerable.com. And please note that currently this man in the middle attack will work only on HTTP website. So in the later videos, we are going to learn that how we can perform this attack on HTTPS as well. But for now, let's stick to the HTTP part. And here, let's head to the sign up part. And let's assume that this website is a, a legitimate website where the user is logging into the, their account. So I'm going to type test and I'm just going to type be practical. Yeah? And let's click on login. As you can see, the password was wrong, obviously. But now let's see in the Kali machine whether we were able to capture the request or not. So, as you can see, we were successfully able to capture the request. As you can see, the username is test and the password is be practical on this particular site. So, we were successfully able to conduct the man in the middle attack. I hope you understand that how we can perform this attack using the cap. And in the later videos, we are going to learn that how we can perform man in the middle on HTTPS website as well. So, thanks for watching. Do let me know if you have any doubts or any issues.